subscribe now. EU debates. Well, what is crystal clear is that we see a completely unjust war still going on uh, in Ukraine uh, with tremendous sacrifices, uh, horrible crimes. I've been there uh, last Tuesday uh, together with uh, the German uh, foreign minister. Uh, and I think there is a very clear imperative uh, to continue to help out Ukraine uh, with weapons as individual countries with sanctions as the European Union but also with our friends in, in North America, uh, with humanitarian aid and with making sure that um, even though we know it is difficult, uh, we work on accountability and make sure that those who are committing these atrocities are being hound accountable. accountable. So that is, uh, you know, what, is, uh, what, is it, what it is that, that we will have to do and that we will have to continue to do uh, because the war is not over it will not be over soon is my assessment um, so let's continue to support our friends in ukraine who are by the way defending their, their country in a tremendously brave way it, in, in these type of cases it is always important to to remain cool and collected um, in, in, in my view, um, it is, of course, first and foremost up to uh, these two countries to, uh, to reach a decision. Uh, I consider them, you know, some of our closest friends and allies, um, uh, very much like-minded. And uh, in, in, you know, in, I think in, in, in all ways that I can foresee, uh, ready to, to join the alliance. Um, so it is first up to them and then it is up to the alliance for the Netherlands. Uh, clearly, we would take a very open and forward-leaning view uh, in case they would formally uh, apply. And as for the, for the alliance as a whole, um, this is clearly a time that asks for unity. And I am sure that we can deliver on that. I think it is, it is if you see what is happening on the ground, there are very few signals um, that it will be over anytime soon. And of course, if there is a situation where the Ukrainians um, decide to uh, negotiate, I think it is, it is imperative that as, as, as nations from North America and, and, and the European Union, that we support them as well as we can uh, during these negotiations. But that is up to them. And in this particular phase, um, if we want to make sure that in a potential future negotiation they are as strong as possible, we need to make sure that they are as strong as possible on the battlefield. Uh, because the, um, the reality, you might say the harsh reality is that those who are strong on the battlefield um, and you know, those who are not pressed for time have a better position at a negotiation table. Uh, so let's make sure um, that we help Ukraine to reach such a position. Thank you very much.